Hey what's up guys it's Babin Welt and you are wisely welcome to this channel. In this video we are gonna break down all the informations related to coronavirus disease, also called COVID-19 about its evolution to transmission and its symptoms to precaution. Let's do this. Now let's talk about coronavirus disease, what actually it is, when it was first observed, and much more about it. Coronaviruses are a group of related viruses that cause diseases in mammals and birds. In humans, coronaviruses cause respiratory tract infections that can range from mild to lethal. Mild illnesses include some cases of the common cold which has other possible causes, predominantly rhinoviruses, while more lethal varieties can cause SARS, MERS, and COVID-19. Symptoms in other species vary. In chickens, they cause an upper respiratory tract disease, while in cows and pigs they cause diarrhea. There are yet to be vaccines or antiviral drugs to prevent or treat human coronavirus infections. It. Coronaviruses were first discovered in the 1930s when an acute respiratory infection of domesticated chickens was shown to be caused by infectious bronchitis virus, IBV. In the 1940s, two more animal coronaviruses, mouse hepatitis virus, MHV, and transmissible gastroenteritis virus, TGEV, were isolated. Human coronaviruses were discovered in the 1960s. The earliest ones studied were from human patients with the common cold, which were later named human coronavirus 229E and human coronavirus OC43. Other human coronaviruses have since been identified, including SARS-CoV in 2003. HCoV and L63 in 2004, Q1 in 2005, MERS CoV in 2012, and SARS CoV 2 in 2019, which is popularly known as COVID 19. First of all, let's get information of SARS CoV 1. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or simply we say SARS. SARS coronavirus was identified in 2003. SARS coronavirus is thought to be an animal virus, from an as yet uncertain animal reservoir, perhaps bats, that spread to other animals, civet cats, and first infected humans in the Guangdong province of southern China in 2002. An epidemic of SARS affected 26 countries and resulted in more than 8,000 cases in 2003, about 10% of whom died. Since then, a small number of cases have occurred as a result of laboratory accidents or, possibly, through animal-to-human transmission. Guangdong, China SARS-CoV is spread from person to person through respiratory secretions. SARS often affected people caring for a sick individual and spread readily through healthcare facilities until infection control measures were established. SARS-CoV was isolated from many hospital surface areas, including elevator buttons, likely contributing to the spread of the disease among healthcare workers. During the outbreak, one in about every 20 infected people was a healthcare worker who cared for a patient with SARS. Nearly 2,000 healthcare workers became ill. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or simply MERS MERS-CoV is a zoonotic virus, which means it is a virus that is transmitted between animals and people. Studies have shown that humans are infected through direct or indirect contact with infected dromedary camels. MERS-CoV has been identified in dromedaries in several countries in the Middle East, Africa and South Asia. Non-human to human transmission and human to human transmission but human-to-human -human transmission doesn't occur until there is a close contact between any two persons. The clinical spectrum of MERS-CoV infection ranges from no symptoms, asymptomatic, or mild, respiratory symptoms to severe acute respiratory disease and death. A typical presentation of MERS-CoV disease is fever, cough and shortness of breath. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2 or SARS-CoV-2 Small Description of COVID-19 COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2. The disease was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, 
the capital of China's Hubei province, and has since spread globally, resulting in the pandemic. It's still not confirmed how it came to us but there is some hypothesis about its origin. Some scientists says it came from bat and later spread it to human medium, other hypothesis says it may have come from seafoods and some scientists has confirmed that it has came from Wuhan's laboratory which was also posted by Chinese news and websites but it's not really confirmed yet. Some details about how the disease is spread are still being determined. U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, say it is primarily spread during close contact and by small droplets produced when people cough, sneeze or talk. With close contact being within 1 to 3 m approximately 3 to 10 feet. Loud talking releases more droplets than normal talking. In Singapore found that an uncovered cough can lead to droplets traveling up to 4.5 meters, 15 feet. Common symptoms, fever, tiredness, dry cough. Some people may experience aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, diarrhea. The virus transmits through coming in contact with infected people's sweat, tears, mucus, saliva, vomit, preventive measures for the disease, social distancing, wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds time after time. or use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Maintain a safe distance from anyone who is sneezing or coughing. Stay at home and do not contact others if you're feeling unwell. Don't touch your eyes, nose and mouth with unsafe hands. Avoid body contacts with others and animals too. Cover your nose and mouth with Ben elbow or safe tissues while sneezing or coughing. Follow the instructions given by local health authority, World Health Organization and by Medical Authority. If you're observing COVID-19 symptoms on you, seek medical attention. And most importantly if you guys are in quarantine, do not break or try to break the lockdown. Stay home, stay safe.